welcome to this Excel worksheet protection tutorial part one. There will be part two about how to protect your entire Excel workbook or Excel file, and also how to recover password in the event of forgotten password or misplacing, uh, misplacement of password. For the purpose of this video, the goal is to help you master how to protect your data or protect your worksheet and the structure of your uh, workbook if you have various worksheets. Before we start the tutorial about worksheet and workbook structure protection, I would appreciate greatly if you subscribe to my channel which can be located on the bottom section of this video, to the bottom right, somewhere here, but also below this video. I would also appreciate if you can comment about what your thoughts were about this video, as well as what future con contents you would like me to produce. I do plan to produce contents about Power BI, Power Pivot, Dashboard, Data Modeling, but I would love to know your feedbacks. And I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you stay tuned until the end and I'll see you soon. I'll talk to you soon in the next section of this video. What is a worksheet? You can see a worksheet of an Excel document right here to the right. It is a collection of cells organized in rows and columns. The total rows, which counts numerically and vertically, is 1,040,576. The total columns, which is goes alphabetically, is equal to 16,384. To know precisely, you can hold the shift right here, press end, and then press the arrow key, and that will give you, it will go to the exact end that will show you that number. Simultaneously, you can repeat the same process. The only difference is that you want to use the right arrow and that will bring you all the way to the end and we'll see, show you the total number of column. An Excel workbook can contain several worksheets or an Excel file with related contents. Those contents may include your company's accounting book. They may include the company's financial analysis. They may include data modeling, which can be achieved with another advanced feature in Excel called Power Pivot, if you're familiar with it. Through that data modeling, you can achieve dashboard. Dashboard is a interface um, and a type of graphical uh, that will provide your decision making, your leaders, with the KPIs, Key Performance Indicators, through graphics and charts, as well as some pivot tables data, organized in a section, uh, or how, however way um, your leaders would like to sh see it. But then that can be a future video. So please leave me a comment on the comment section down below if you would like to see how to construct a dashboard through Power Pivot for the future videos. Now, lastly but not least, uh, your worksheet may also contain hyperlinks, various hyperlinks to web pages. For those reasons, among others, protection is to restrict the user or users from modifying the contents and structure of the worksheet, worksheets within that workbook or within that Excel file.
when a worksheet is protected, the user can edit the contents that you have marked as, as unlocked. Therefore, you can choose what options will be available for the user or users for modification. Let's begin to apply the, the knowledge now into a real Excel file. Excellent. So now let's focus on learning how to protect certain worksheets within this Excel workbook. This Excel workbook is the T-Square Financial Analysis. And for that reason, it is important to protect certain worksheets within this workbook. And if I hop over to the Revenue tab for this sheet, you can see here that this information, this field, is linked to the monthly report. This, the region, is linked to the VLOOKUP section, which I have copied and pasted there. There's a VLOOKUP table sheet separately, but for the visibility purpose, the link to the cells, including the state, city and town, as well as the customer, these are all linked to this table. The revenue category is linked to the monthly report. Additionally, the revenue dollar is also linked to the monthly report. And then the dollar is just being converted into million. And that's just the formula. So you can see that this is a critical tab or worksheet which is the reason why protecting this worksheet is critical. Now, to do that, you want to hop over to the tab, which is called the Review tab, and here it will give you the option to protect the sheet. You can see that I have already marked everything to be protected. So, if you were it to unselect some of these, say to allow users to do some editing, you can do so by unchecking some of these selections. Now, when you are protecting the sheet and contents of locked cells, you have the optional, you have the option to enter a password. You also have the option not to enter the password. In that case, the user or users would click on the protect, although the file is locked, it would automatically unprotect it. Because the goal is to keep it protected, I will go ahead and enter the password. Again, this is optional. And once I do that and I verify the password, I'll go ahead and click OK. So this sheet is now locked. If a user or the users try to unlock it, you can see that it will promptly require password, which is precisely the goal of this exercise, to keep it locked. And um, you can also see that if, you, if anyone try to delete any of this, Excel will automatically alert the user that these cells are protected. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password, which is exactly right. And so now this entire worksheet is protected. So when the user with access to this file, because this file is not read-only, it's editable, come in and dump the data, the revenue data, to this section. You can see that that automatically will safely 
populate under the revenue tab which is now showing as locked if we hop over to the expense tab again this is the t-square consolidated financial information this tab is also protected this also this tab excuse me also needs to be protected because as you can see um, this cell is linked to the monthly report the expense section and this cell here this entire column all the way through column F all of these cells are linked to the VLOOKUP table under the revenue tab. This cell here, these two columns and all these cells that I'm pointing to is linked to the monthly report expense section. So for that reason, and lastly but not least, for the column I for these cells, is just doing a conversion of the dollar the whole dollar into million so for that reason i need everything this entire sheet to be protected and again to protect the sheet you want to make sure that you are under the review tab and click on protect the sheet and as you can see i've checked everything off because i need all of these protected you want to go ahead and enter the password and again that is an option and you want to verify the password and you click OK if you had it if you had an error in the two passwords that you entered were not exact Excel would have prompt you that you need to make sure that the password is correct so now you can see that these two tabs are now protected when my analyst come in and dump the data over there. This information will automatically populate here and the file will convert the dollar into million and this file will continue to be refreshing on a monthly basis. Simultaneously for the expense section once the end user come in and dump the expense report for the month in this section it will automatically populate here accurately so the reason why it's so important that all of these run accurately it's because i have a dashboard that's running on the background and i need that dashboard for my kpi to be refreshed on a monthly basis. That has concluded the protect worksheet section. I will talk to you soon. I'll show you how to protect the workbook. Let's protect this workbook. So to protect the workbook, the reason why we want to protect the workbook is to prevent this worksheet or these worksheets for being renamed, moved or copied or deleted. Sometimes people can accidentally delete information. And as I mentioned earlier, that will create implications to the dashboard that's being running on the background so you can notice here that i can delete it if i choose to i can delete this if i choose to although it has a protection that's to protect the protect contents the formulas all these um, formulas here not the worksheet for itself whether it's to delete a worksheet or rename it, move it, or copy it, or even insert a new sheet right here. 
So I don't want any of that to happen because this is again the T squared consolidated financial information. And I want to make sure that this information is highly protected. Structure and contents. Now to protect the, the workbook, uh, to prevent any structural disruption, you want to hop over to the review tab again and click protect workbook and password as I mentioned earlier that's an option so for this reason I do want this password to be unique to me so I will go ahead and enter the password again it will ask you to verify the password and now it protects the sheets so it, you can read it here that the sheets cannot be moved, deleted, hidden, unhidden, or renamed. New sheets cannot be inserted, as I mentioned earlier. So once you have completed the password and verified the password, if that's an option to you, you just click OK. And then you can verify, go back and verify, and you can see now that all of those options, insert sheet to delete, rename, move or copy, um, tab color, hide or unhide, all of these are now grayed out, which means that these are not available for the other user. That has concluded this tutorial.